Moosehead to Owl's Head to West Quaddy Headlight. We gotta take the power back. It's the George Hill Rick Tyler Show. G on the PDQ door telephone line right now from his home in Scarborough. Welcome back to the Secretary of State. We gotta take the power back. Charlie Summers for the George Hill Rick Tyler Show. Hi, right, good morning, Charlie. Good morning, George. Good morning, Rick. You were uh, uh, in the news this morning. We knew you were having a news conference yesterday, but it, it, a lot of people thought it might have to do with the concerns raised by the chair of Maine's Republican Party, Charlie Webster. That's not the case. Charlie, it had to do with allegations going back five or six years. What can you tell us? First of all, it actually, the press conference did deal with both issues on that, Rick. They, uh, you know, as you know, earlier in the week, the chairman of the main Republican Party did bring uh, some allegations forward, and as a chief election official, I have a responsibility to look into those. And uh, and after looking into those, uh, it was decided that uh, it would be best to fold this investigation into an ongoing investigation that uh, stemmed from a discussion I had with uh, a, an employee at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles uh, involving uh, individuals uh, who were trying to obtain fraudulent or in, under fraudulent means obtain driver's license, uh, which expanded into filling out a number of different types of forms, and one of them possibly, possibly, I say, because you know we have an investigation going on, not uh, uh, making any any uh, uh, specific statements on that, but possibly. Uh, the filling out of uh, voter registration cards. So we're looking into that right now, trying to uh, uh, go about this in, in a very prudent and judicious manner. And uh, that's what the press conference is about. You know, I've always thought that the Secretary of State's job may be one of the tougher ones uh, in, in state government for the simple reason you're a constitutional officer. Uh, you have a, a Democratic Secretary of State generally, when the Dems are in charge, and that has been for a long time, and now uh, you, you're a Republican, and and uh, you still have to walk that thin line. After the press conference yesterday, the former Secretary of State, Matt Dunlop, uh, didn't make any accusations, but he, he made one statement. I'd like to get your response to it. He said, you're walking a dangerous line of politicizing the office. Um, I, I'd like to hear a response to that. Well, I mean, first of all, Matt is a is a good and honorable person, and uh, uh, he is served the state well. Uh, I don't believe uh, that there is, anything is being politicized. We're simply uh, made an announcement, uh, and that you know, in fact, at the urge, at, at, at my own urging, at the end of the press conference, uh, you know, I said no one should jump to conclusions. We should allow this process. Uh, to go forward, and uh, that's what we're doing. Charlie Summers, Secretary of State, on the phone from Scarborough this morning for the George Hill Rick Tyler Show. Charlie, why now? Um, is is it just because the chair of Maine's Republican Party gathered these uh, uh, these initials? Some of this, re- the first names redacted, uh, so we have only initials, not names, of college students who may may not have voted in their own hometowns back out of state and here that this issue now comes up about this incident four to five years ago? Is is it that both are now, so now I'll bring both to light? Or not, might this be tied to the fact that, you know, we have all the clipboards out there trying to repeal 1376 that moves voter registration back two days? Well, I, I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm not the first Secretary of State to ever uh, investigate voter fraud. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, you can ask yourself, at what point do you, do you announce... Um, what you know what you're undertaking and uh you know i I'm, I'm sure that there are those who will assign whatever uh motives to it but the fact of the matter is uh you know these are active investigations uh you know i i'm sure if i waited uh three months from now and and made an announcement there would be all kinds of accusations at that point so uh you know the fact of the matter is uh when uh the chairman of the main republican party brought his information uh, to me at the beginning of the week, uh, I was asked by a reporter how soon I would have something. I told him I would try to have something by the end of the week uh, after a preliminary review of uh, Chairman Webster's uh, information. It was decided to fold that into the current investigation and, uh, and, and make it known. I understand that there's a sensitive area, so I won't press you on, on, on the things you can't talk about, but just what's come out publicly. This whole... Uh, Incident starts ju- around July one. Someone in your office, I assume, a, a female employee, says that 
she had seen people whom she was suspected of being non-citizens registering to vote. But then that senior officials within the office told her to destroy the evidence gathered during her suspicions. And it goes back five years or more, and under previous administrations. Can you elaborate any more than that? Well, that's pretty much, uh, that lays it out right there, uh, George. You know, again, when if someone uh, brings information uh, of that nature to me, I feel like as a chief election official, I have an obligation uh, to look into it and, and or investigate it. Uh, and those are uh, very troubling uh, uh, things uh, that I had learned and at that point uh, after looking into it decided to investigate the matter. Charlie, can we ask this? Did this Bureau of Motor Vehicles employee bring this to the attention of the previous Secretary of State? Do we know this? Well, you know, again, I, I, I know that uh, um, these issues have come out in, in the past. Uh, I can't speak specifically to what someone may or may have not done uh, prior to my becoming Secretary of State, uh, but I, you know, I, I do know that uh, I'm not the first Secretary of State to investigate allegations of voter fraud. I read somewhere yesterday, and I can't remember, we've read so much about this in a very short period of time, that in, in some cases, if somebody fills out an application and then changes it and throws it in a waste paper basket and then starts a new one, there's, there could be sensitive information on the one in the waste paper basket and it might be prudent to to shred that that information. That that part of it would be okay, wouldn't it? Well, again, George, I I I know I've read the Bangor Daily today as well, and uh, read something like that. But I I'm not going to go into great specifics here, and it's probably one of the most boring interviews you've ever given. Uh, oh no, we've got, had a lot boring, more boring than this. <laughs> I've got us. a couple right oh, now. Really? I'd like to trade Gee. you. Mm, yeah, but uh, you, you know, I mean, suffice it to say that 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 I'm dealing with with what has is, is, uh, been brought to my attention, and we're trying to go about it in, in a very prudent and judicious manner. And, it, you know, it's important that uh, I feel that people don't jump to conclusions uh, about any one person or any one group. Let's let this process move forward, and, and, and you know, we will do it as thoroughly and, and as uh, 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 thoughtfully as possible. And in so doing, uh, as, the, as the facts come out and the, as I'm able to share them, I certainly will. Charlie Summer, let us ask before we go, does this uh, thorough and prudent process involve the Attorney General Schneider right now? I, I've asked the Attorney General to assist in this matter, yes. All right. Bruce. So basically what you're saying, if there's something there, you're going to announce it. If there's, if there's nothing there, you're also going to announce that. Well, yeah, at, at, at the, as this process concludes or when it concludes, um, then we will certainly have a, have a, a, a complete, uh, detailed announcement. And we will have you on at that point in time, hopefully. Charlie Summers, Secretary of State from Scarborough. We know you have places to be, and you could afford us eight, nine minutes this morning. Thank you for being a part of our show this morning. Thank you both, and I appreciate the opportunity. 1-800-966-1039 is our telephone number. 1-800-966-1039, and our McLaughlin Seafood inbox is open at WVOM at BlueberryBroadcasting.com. I want to go inside baseball just for a second, as George, I told you this morning. Um, yesterday, because of circumstance, illness, uh, I did not have an opportunity to reach out to former Secretary of State Matt Dunlap. I did not have access to his contact information, which was here. I did not have it, so I could not reach him. However, as you Eaton texted me and said, you know, why don't we talk to the Secretary of State before that, Bill Diamond, for his insight. He'll be on the phone with us in about 15 minutes from now. Yeah, Bill, uh, I'm sure, well, he, he was involved in the, uh, back in the 90s in the beginning of the motor voter thing, so he, he's, a, he's, a good, he's a good guy to have on. Caller, hello, the George Hale, Rick Tyler Show. You're on 101.3 Augusta, 103.9 Bangor, the voice of Maine, allegations from a Bureau of Motor Vehicles employee who claims that she brought evidence of non-citizens registering to vote. Her bosses five years ago told her to shred it. What are you thinking? Well, I believe it completely. I've been in the town office, and I've been brought issues of fraud and deceit and dissent many times at town meetings. The Bangor Daily News refuses to report this. It's unbelievable what they'll turn a blind eye to and the criminality of what some of these municipalities are willing to do just to keep the status quo and, to, and the spin doctoring 
that I, I don't know, lack of a better word, uh, Fabian socialist taking over our, our system of governance. It's unbelievable. So you're willing to go forward in, in your own name and testify to these facts? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you much. 1-800-966-1039. 1-800-966-1039. One of the comments that, um, and I wish we could have uh, welcomed Matt Dunlap to the show, and, and, and curse you, George Hale, for having in your mind the same thoughts I had. The comment from uh, Matt Dunlap in, in one news account that says, eh, you know, people, words out that I'm considering a run against Olympia Snow or some run for higher office, and so now let the firestorm begin, saying that Charlie Summers is is approaching or brushing up against political lines. Well, as Matt has always done his job as Secretary of State, and Charlie Summers, it's his job as Secretary of State to ensure the integrity of Maine's elections. They're, they're the top election official. And so if you're the top election official and someone brings forward to you allegations of voter fraud, is it not your job to investigate it, no matter who brings it up? Well, absolutely. Well, how is that then brushing up against a political line? Well, I think there's a lot of... I'm not going to... Again, you, you can expect in, in the environment that we're dealing today especially with all the signatures that are out there, you, you, that people are going to charge. And, and Matt, Matt Dunlop got charged at times with things. Uh, pe- people were, in, anytime you had a referendum that mm-hmm. was coming up and it had to be written, the R's were on his back saying, oh, yeah, you're a D trying to get this done. And, and Matt pointed that out yesterday. You're a constitutional officer, and, and if whoever's controlling the legislature is going to control whether you're in the job or not. Mm-hmm. And so now that uh, the R is in charge instead of the D, uh, obviously, there's going to be people who say, well, the timing of this announcement yesterday came as a result of uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so, I understand that there was a politician who made that comment. I, I don't have the name in front of me. It's, it, was in, it was in one of the newspapers. A politician made that comment about, gee, I wonder about the timing. But for Matt Dunlap, who has honestly, in my opinion, always been the Tom Hanks of politics in the state of Maine, to say Charlie Summers is brushing up against a political line, where it appears Charlie Summers is just doing his job, I mean, he's being very careful about what he's saying. Well, I think we'll be interested in Bill Diamond's response to some of that. And we'll have that in just a few minutes. But now, 1-800-966-1039. Carly, you're on the George Hale, Rick Tyler Show. Good morning. Yeah, I can remember when Matt Dunlap got elected representative, and uh, it was after, and he came and uh, talked to me and told me that it's even more crooked than I had said when I was in. You know, so like, uh, boy, but he got rewarded. He he got this big dump in Old Town here, and then he got rewarded with his Secretary of State position. Remember, those are partisan positions. They're elected not by the people, but by the party. Are you talking about Juniper Ridge in Old Town? Oh, yeah, Juniper Ridge. Isn't that a joke? Well, junipers do smell nice in well, marketing. Everything's in now, a name, but I did. Rem- remember one thing. That, that the Secretary of State's office, the, the Attorney General and a few others, are constitutional offices. That's the way our Constitution reads. Mm-hmm. So when you say he got a political job, it is designed that way. And just as Charlie Summers has got his job because it is designed that the majority, well, it doesn't have to be, they could vote the other way, but it's unlikely that the majority party is going to name that constitutional officer. As Matt did in his job as Secretary of State... I- I always perceive Matt as playing it right down the middle or doing his best to do so. And granted, he's not in the office anymore. But for him to point a finger at Charlie Summers and say, you're brushing up against the line, buddy, when it's Charlie's job, just to investigate what could be something that violates the integrity of the election process in the state of Maine. Caller, hi, GHRT, you're on the road and you're on the radio now for GHRT. What are you thinking? I'm thinking he's just doing his job and it doesn't matter whether it's Republican or Democrat, if there's voter fraud, there's voter fraud. And like Emily Kane said yesterday, I really don't think it's a witch hunt. I think he's doing what he's supposed to do. Well, that was in re- reference to Charlie Webster. When Emily made those comments right, concerning that was about Charlie Webster. the 206 names that Charlie has found by doing compare and contrast with town clerks and, and, in state, out of state, and college. And so far, the jury is out on that one. But, well. Now, at least, we learn from Charlie Summers that, yes, it will be folded into an investigation, and, yes, he is talking with A.G. Schneider about it. 1-800-966-1039. Caller, you're next. You're on the George Hale Rick Tyler Show. Happy to talk to you. Yeah, I think it's just that they try to do anything to stay in power. They kind of try to tweak the issues and tell you it's like the Social Security or entitlement. Who's they? They try to... They try to tell you that... No, please answer George's question, because we're having trouble with your pronoun, they. Who are they? Uh, the Democrats. 
And well, what are they doing? Well, it's the same thing like this issue with voter fraud. They're trying to tell you, know, you're trying to politicize it because they don't want to really have you find out exactly what's going on, that college students are voting, that illegal aliens are voting. They don't want you to find out because that's their base. Well, as for the illegal aliens, no, they shouldn't be able to vote. However, if they are college students, there is a way for them to legally vote on municipal issues in the state of Maine. The question is, are they doing so lawfully? And that's what Charlie Webster, that's the concern Charlie Webster has raised with his list of 206 names. Well, that's, yeah, you know, you've, you've made an important point because some people are irritated that the college students are voting. But but there is a legal way they can do it. And if they're doing it legally... No problem. But if they're not doing it legally... Problem. 